Hi viewers, welcome to our crash course on Excel. Here we'll be looking at the workbook, the worksheets, and cell. Now what's the workbook? The workbook is the entire Excel file that a user is using or working on. Once you open your Microsoft Excel, what you are seeing, everything that you are seeing is the workbook. It comprises of both the ribbons, the sheets, cell, everything, the entirety of the Excel file is the workbook. Okay. So in every workbook, we have sheets. The sheets are, as you can see them, on the left, bottom left corner of the screen. These are the sheets. We have sheet 1, sheet 2, and sheet 3. So these sheets are the vertical and horizontal lines, as you can see drawn on the screen, on the screen where the user can work on. Okay? Now, uh, let's just see some things we can do with the sheets. Let's just... Uh, Type in some things here for identification of these sheets. I just typed in 215 sheet 1. Let me type in yes here. Then type in no here. Okay. Now, what are the things you can do uh, with the sheets? How to uh, format the sheets? You can decide to change the background color of the sheets. We can do that by right clicking. After you've selected the sheets, you right click. Then you select the tab color. Let's take the color green. Okay. Now we now we've now changed the background color, the fill color of this sheet to be green. Okay. Now let's also do that for sheet two. You right click, place your cursor on tab color. A menu comes out. You select. Uh, let's just select the color blue. Okay. That's it. You can see sheet 2 now has a background color of blue. So this helps us to identify the sheets that you are working on. Okay. Now, how do you add another sheet? If you want to add another sheet, like you want to insert another sheet, you want to use more than three sheets, just click on this icon here. Okay. Now I have sheet 5. You can click again to have more sheets. That is it. As simple as that. And some other things you can do with the sheets. You can decide to change the name of the sheets. The sheet name let's just change this sheet one let's change the name to david you, you select the sheets right click then select rename okay let's give it the name david perfect we've done that now what if we want to move the sheets from being the very first sheet to the end to like if we want to move it from one position to another so you just select as you selected the sheets, you right click, you select move or copy. Okay. Now where are we, are we moving it to? We want to move it to the end. You select end. Click OK. That's it. Now another thing you can do if you want to create a copy of a particular sheet, let's say for example this sheet 2, we want to create a copy of sheet 2. Okay. If you notice, we have uh, yes written here, so that helps us to identify it. When I create a copy of this sheet, you just right click, select move or copy. Now, in this case, you have to check the create a copy uh, box here, so I can create another copy of this. Now, the second copy we are we are we are creating. Where do we want it to be? Let's move it also to the end. Just select move to the end. Then, okay, that's it. See, the Excel has given it sheet 2 in bracket 2. That means we have two of these kind of sheets. Okay. Now, if we want to delete a particular sheet, what do we do? All we need to do is just to select the sheets. Okay, let's delete the sheets, David. We select the sheets. You right click. Then select delete. Okay. Delete. Confirm. We've deleted the sheets. So that's it about uh, worksheets. Now let's go and take a look at the cell. First of all, what's a cell? A cell is the meeting point in the layman's language. It's the meeting point between a row and a column on the spreadsheet. The meeting point between a row and a column on the spreadsheet. Meanwhile, the, the rows are the horizontal lines. As you can see, then we have row 1, 2, row 3, and so on. Then we have column A, column B, column C, and column D. So the cell is a meeting point between 
a row and a column. Now let's say for example we select the first cell here. This is cell A1. As you can see on the cell uh, name bar, this is cell name bar. So as you can see this is written A1. It's telling us that the name of this cell is A1. So a cell identifies a cell by the row and the column that comes together to make up that cell. Okay. Now let's select this one. We have this is B2. Okay, that's it about cell naming. Once you see select a cell, you will see the name, the row and the column that comes together to make up that cell. That's what gives the cell its name.